Uh, I was running when I was 12, kind of um, joined like a program after school and I don't think I liked it that much then. It was just something to do um, amongst the other things that I did. Uh, but I think once I kind of started like racing and I became better and I won races when I was young, it just kind of fueled, uh, fueled my fire and I kept winning races and I was like, oh, I'm good at it. That's kind of fun, you know, I'll keep running. And I think uh, just with the time, I just kind of started, you know, loving running and just that became like the main part of my, of my life. In Israel, uh, sports is, is hard. Um, there's not really like high school teams or really anything that is too um, organized. So if you are going to be a runner or a soccer player or anything else, swimmer, whatever, you're, you're going to make it for yourself. Like there's no programs or anything like that. So um, and it's especially hard when you're doing it on your own and everybody else is not doing it. I think in Israel, because there's no groups or teams in high school or middle school or something like that, it's just especially harder. And I think that was uh, a big reason why I wanted to come to the States to kind of have that uh, support system and program in place uh, to help me grow as an athlete. And um, just because I also didn't feel like I have too much competition in Israel and I wanted I wanted to see what it's like out there, and uh, I think I made the best decision. My freshman year, I was, uh, I think I was kind of like a, in shock. I just wanted to fit in because if, you know, if like you just, you know, not running with the, with a group, you just are going to stay behind, and I didn't want to stay behind, and I wanna be, wanted to be a good runner because that's part of the reasons why, uh, why um, I came here, to be a good athlete and learn and grow. Um, yeah, so just uh, you kind of like go with the flow and go with the people and follow follow the, their lead and you know ca in, with time being a leader yourself. I remember I always wanted to go to the Olympics since I was like uh, you know young and uh, like the only and I knew like once I left USF I knew that you know, running was not done for me. There is like more potential and I wanted to see what I can do. And I just kind of decided to take a risk and I moved to Boulder, just like on a whim kind of, um, just putting more mileage and also living in altitude, I think, just kind of helped my body like shape a little better. And um, I don't know, I just became stronger aerobically. And I think the switch to the marathon was also kind of like uh, we didn't really plan on it, but it just kind of something that I decided to do like last minute. Yeah, it just you kind of have to, you know, put your head down and just grind through marathon training and hope on the day that the marathon gods are going to be with you. <laughs> the last probably 15 minutes were of the race in Canada were like, I don't know, they were like really tough. Like I remember I could not feel my legs anymore, but I remember my um, my coach at the time uh, was telling me, 10 more minutes and you're going to be an, Olympic, an Olympian for the rest of your life. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and I had like goosebumps when, you know, when I was running. And I was like, oh, my God, this is crazy. I remember like everybody was so excited. Oh, yeah, you're going to the Olympics. And I was like, well, I'm not an Olympian yet. I just need to finish my marathon first. And, you know, then, then I can call myself, you know, an Olympian. But... It was amazing, just a, a, an amazing experience to run, to be there, um, to have the Israel uniform, to make my dream come true, you know. Uh, just all the energy and seeing all these people, like all these great athletes around you 24-7 is just, uh, it's just such a cool like, experience and like they're like the best athletes in the world, like just walking next to you, you know. Definitely USF opened the door for me, I think if I did not make that move, I don't think I would be an Olympian, to be honest. I mean, who knows, maybe I would not, would not be even a runner anymore because I think life in Israel is just so hard. I mean, you can make it, you know, definitely, but I think definitely that was like a step up. You know, three years after graduating, I was like, we were so spoiled in the USF. It was so fun, you know, like you don't need to worry about anything. And now when you're like on your own, you need to worry about everything like financial financials and just like 
finding the right team, finding the right coach, finding the right massage therapist, the, the right PT, the right psychologist, whatever, like having the support from your family and which is hard just living away from them. And even in the hardest time, and I can tell you that there's probably more harder, harder times than better times in running, or pro at least for me, it was like that. Um, but you kind of have to push through it. And what's nice is that um, Helen is still such a big part of my life and my you know, former college teammates are still a big part of my life. And we shared like such strong moments together that you carry, carry that on on with you to like the rest of your life basically. And I think that's really important um, for my like professional running career at the moment. And um, you're not gonna be rich from running, but you do it for the love of it. And um, you just kinda like have to, to take the risk to be honest, like, yeah.